So we're here with the Blue Planet team and the Mentalize, and we're going to talk a little bit about how to get out through the surf. That's uh, one of the things that's kind of challenging when you're starting out. So, you know, one, one thing is just going to a place that has a, a nice channel that you can, where you can kind of paddle around the waves. But even then, sometimes when you end up on the inside, the waves are going to be coming at you and you have to get back out through them. So um, let's talk a little bit about how to do that. You want to start, Ty? Yeah, for me, like Jeff, riding a smaller board, I feel I've seen a few of the pros, they either kick the board over the top of the wave. So as you, before the wave gets to you, so the broken wave, you want to kick the board up above the lip and hopefully push the board over the top as you go under. So it semi works as you duck dive, but the board makes it over the top of the wave, which I guess works much like a duck dive, I guess. The board goes over, you go under and you meet in the middle, but you can also let the board back of the board sink and then you like it propels itself up over the wave and you just naturally fall back into the bottom of the wave and you can play the same principle, I guess, meet it in the middle. Yeah, that's a good way to get over bigger waves and it's definitely a little bit more advanced technique. Um, so <laughs> for beginners, um, what, what are some pointers? I'm guessing for a, a beach break, if you're you're paddling in a, a beach break, there's, there's breaks coming at you in all these angles, but there's always going to be a rip that's going to be like splitting the peak. So you can always use a rip to sort of work your way back out around to the break. As long as you're a strong paddle, obviously a rip's going to suck you out past the break. So only use the rip if you can paddle pretty strong, and obviously that's a that's an easy way out. Um, yeah, that's probably one of the ways that I'd go if I was using a bigger board and yeah, smaller board, like as Ty said, you could probably punch through the through the surf, popping the nose up and over the wave, but that's a yeah, it's a more advanced um, technique. Any other Well I mean I think one one thing for beginners is just to learn how to paddle on your chest, you know, prone paddling with your pa blade under your chest so you can just paddle out. Um, instead of trying to stand up or kneel on the board because then every time it takes a while to get back on and then by the time you get on the next wave comes and then fall in again and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. by just prone paddling out through the through the white water that, that helps a lot of times. And just go, don't go in, out in waves that are too big for you to, that you can't handle really. You know, so. mm -hmm. But in smaller waves like the trick to paddle over a wave with, when, while you're standing up is just to kind of lean back a little bit so the wave pops uh, the board pops up over the white water and then as soon as it pops up you gotta lean forward or get your weight forward again so it kind of levels out and then yeah. use your paddle to balance and kind of keep the board moving and have some momentum going into the white water as you're hitting it. Yeah, yeah especially yeah after catching a wave you're gonna be tired but the hardest thing is to battle the whitewash so you're gonna have to use a lot of en like a lot of energy to get back out the back so yeah just just tough it out and you really got to paddle hard through the whitewash or through the break to get out the back and then when it, once you're out the back you can really sit down and relax and wait for the next wave so yeah just you just got to really push push and push otherwise you're going to get nowhere so yeah dig deep and paddle hard and just try just try push through the whitewash and get out the back so you can relax and recover for another wave i think what you were saying before um you can stand on your board I go into surfing stance, paddle ready, like you said, tail down, try and pop it up over the wash and have your paddle ready to, to brace yourself when you get up because it, because yeah. you are in turbulent water and yeah, and then bang, bang, bang. If you can, once you start doing those little ones, you can get bigger and bigger and yeah. You can get head high, whitewash you can, once you get confident, yeah. Or yeah, I would, I would say, um, you know, work your way first, you know, on smaller, passing smaller white water, and then you can work your way through bigger white water. Um, for me, it comes a point where the white water is too big, I just dive off, and, and that's my way of going through. But on the smaller wave, I would suggest, yeah, just paddle to it. Um, just right before the white water come, switch to your surfing stand. Uh, push on your back feet to lift up the nose a little bit, so the white water can go under the board. And at the same time, with your paddle, you want to go on the other side of the wave. And as soon as the wave is under your board, you want to give it a, a paddle that's going to help you go over and then put your weight forward so you can make it over the wave. And as soon as you pass the wave, you can go back into your standing, your two feet parallel um, 
and keep paddling. So again, you paddle to a wide water, the wide water comes, go into your surfing stand, push on your back feet, make the board go up, have the wide water go under, go with your paddle on the other side of the wave, and push it, it's gonna help you go over the wide water, and as soon as you're on the other side, go back to your standing uh, position and keep paddling. Uh, one thing I would definitely suggest not to do is uh, to be on your knees uh, when you try to pass the white water. I tend to see a lot of beginners uh, be on their knees and, and try to pass the white water. For me that's like a, a bad idea because what often happens is the, the nose of the board lifts up and then the board just hits you in the face. Um, yeah. That will be my pointers. <laughs> Any pointers from you, Skylar? Everyone's sort of covered everything, but yeah, definitely don't do effortless paddles because when you're effortless, it will just wash you straight in. You won't get, you need power to get over the wave. With no power, it, the wave has more power than you and it will push you straight back into shore. Yeah, try to have, moment, yeah, try to have momentum going to the white water. So yeah. that's going to help you as opposed to standing and waiting for the white water to come to you. And then also having your nose pointed straight into the white water. If you're a little bit sideways at an angle to the white water, it's just going to throw you off the board basically and make sure no one's behind you yeah, yeah. so if you have to bail the board um, like if there's a big wave coming you know look make sure you know no one's behind you if there is someone behind you try to get get away from any, any anybody that your board could hit basically you know, be aware of, of the people around you as well all right we think yeah. pretty much covered it mm -hmm. so thanks for watching see you next time Aloha. Aloha. <laughs>